Hey guys, Charlotte here, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Anti-Prom by Abby McDonald. And so, it's just about three girls who are like completely different. There's Bliss, who's the popular girl, average popular. Um, Megan, who's the complete loner, who like doesn't have social skills. And um, Jolene, who's the bad girl. And it's just... It's called the anti-prom, but the thing is, they're at the prom for a little part of the night, and they're not. Like, the thing is, the title doesn't actually fit the book. That was my biggest concern. But all in all, I'd give it a 4 out of 5 stars. It kind of had a silly plot. Like, I mean, it wasn't, wasn't that substantial. Is that a word? No. Uh, it was really light. I thought it would have a little more, like, meaning to it, but it didn't really... I don't know what to say. Um, definitely 4 or 5, though, because I did enjoy reading it, and I read it um, in my spare time when I like, could have been doing other stuff. Does that make sense? I guess that everything about it was kind of cliche, because then you got Bliss and um, Jolene especially, they were the biggest cliches. I did like Megan because all in, like she was this loner, but um, she was like the least cliche, definitely, out of all of them. And um, she was really cute. I liked her. She was my favorite. It was about like 280 pages long, but it only took me two days to read. So it's um it's not like the biggest book in the world, but the font is actually pretty small. And um I thought it was kind of ironic like all the things. There were a few things that I think they could have gone into the author could have gone more into more depth with. Like they just mentioned like well like let's for example, Jolene's the bad girl, and she shows up at prom waiting for this other guy who, um, and she wears a pink dress. Like, I don't know about you, but I did not expect that. I guess they sort of just put her in it, sort of to, honestly, I don't know. They could have gone into depth and explained that more. But the whole thing was sort of about, the main thing was they were trying to get revenge on this other girl. And they had to work together to sort of do it. I think it was really petty, though. Like, I mean, it was a good start. They, they used it to segue into other stuff, too. But, I don't know. It was kind of random. This girl sees Bliss who is the popular girl, she sees her best friend um, having sex with her boyfriend. And she doesn't cry, she doesn't get upset, she just goes to Jolene, the bad girl. They don't even like each other, they don't even know each other, and says she wants to destroy this friend who's cheating. Like, she doesn't even care about the guy. I thought that was a little out of the blue, but, I don't know. So yeah, there's a few points where I was kind of like, mm, like, ugh, ugh. but, um, I liked it. I mean, it's not something that, I don't think it could be make it, made into a series. Like, a lot of books, you can just make them into series, but I don't think this one had, like, the base, basage to do it. She's not planning to make it into a series, this is just what I'm saying. But, yeah. Four, like, it's kind of like a 3.5 out of four stars, but I'm giving it a four out of stars. The thing is, it's fun to read, but it's not something that, like, I will read with my nerd glasses, you know? It's not something you should take too seriously. So, yeah. Um, I'll be reviewing Catching Fire, the second Hunger Games in my next video, if all goes as planned, here I'll get it. Pretty and new from the bookstore, and I just bought these two, these three. This is um, also a trilogy. Um, it's about three sisters, and I've read the first one, and I it's Lucky 
by Rachel Vale. Sorry, I'm like, Ugh. Um, so I'll be reviewing that later on. And I don't think I'll be reviewing these, but I got them. They're the third and the fourth Vampire Academy books. Um, Shadow Kiss and Blood Promise. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. And it, I don't think anyone will even care, but if you want me to review these, please comment below. Thanks, guys.